What is good everybody? It is Straight from My Damn Toys here back again with another video and today we are going to be discussing San Diego Comic Con. You guys know the biggest action figure con of the year taking place in San Diego during the month of July. It's going to be absolutely epic. You guys know we always get brand new WWE action figure reveals from Mattel and everybody over there at the WWE Mattel booth and I'm excited for the Elite Squad. You guys know they always deliver to us and I'm very excited. Today we're going to be discussing the figures that we're going to see there at San Diego Comic-Con, and this is not going to be the figures that I hope I see. I do have one figure that I am going to put in this video because I do really want to see this figure, and we're going to discuss that at the end, but for now, we're just going to discuss the figures that I know for a fact we're going to see based on some news, based on some rumors, based on some leaks that we have seen, and some reveals that we have seen. So, let's go ahead and dive right into it, guys. First off, we have Jack the Ripper NXT Elite Finn Balor. This figure is probably one of the figures that I am the most excited for. I am like... I, I can't tell you how excited I am, guys, especially, you know, with uh, with with the massive Finn Balor collection we got over here. I'm a huge Finn Balor mark and, and fan, so I am super excited for this release. I cannot wait to see this figure. I can just, like, rip somebody's head off right now, ready to see this action figure, so... We have Finn Balor in the Jack the Ripper attire. The only, like, thing I'm thinking about is, my God, guys, if they use the Daniel Bryan torso, I'm going to be so heavily disappointed. I'm going to be, I'm going to be freaking just so crushed, and I'm going to be very upset. So, guys, hopefully, just, just pray for me and hope that they reveal this thing with the ripped up torso so I don't rip my hair out and upload a video of me just crying in the corner. So, hopefully we get that figure with the, the ripped torso because if not, I'm going to have to replace it with a Top Talents torso, paint it up to accuracy, and you guys know I really don't want to have to do that. So, please give me the right torso and everything will be okay. So, that is the figure that I'm most epic, epically excited, excited for. I'm really excited for that. The next figure that we have, guys, is a Dudes with Attitude Diesel figure. Now, this one was posted by Showcase Collector much like the Demon Finn Balor from NXT, the Jack the Ripper. He always posts these teasers on his Instagram page. If you guys aren't following Showcase Collector, definitely go follow him. He is an absolute beast. He has he always predicts these things correctly, and I don't know how he does it. I don't know if he works with Mattel or if he has like some, you know, he's like dirt, he's like Dave Meltzer over there. He's got the dirt sheets, he's he's got the rumors and all the stuff spiraling around. So he uh he uploaded this image of Diesel here, and so I think we're going to be getting a Dudes with Attitude style Diesel. We have not yet gotten one in that attire, and so you guys can see by the custom on the screen by, uh, one of them is Beast Nation, my boy James, he uploaded that one, and then we have the one of Shawn Michaels and Diesel, and that is the same attire. That is by Curb Stomp City Custom Decals. You guys, if you want any custom decals, go check him out on Instagram. Very, very big. Probably the most popular decals guy for your customs. So this is a definite. We are going to be getting a Dudes with Attitude Diesel and possibly a Shawn Michaels. I think that could also happen. The next figure that we have, guys, is John Cena. Now, we saw this prototype at WrestleMania Access, I do believe, with this haircut, brand new head sculpt. It was the same elite, I think, 54 body, right, with the orange and blue armbands. We saw this figure's, uh, we've seen this figure before, but the head scan is brand new. Hopefully they change, I'd like to see them change up his full body, because we've gotten this John Cena for years now, and I think it would be nice to, you know, change it up, but I think we're going to get the Super Showdown attire, you guys know, in the, it's a, to me, honestly, it's his worst shirt design he's ever worn. You guys can see there on the screen, the You Can't Stop Me shirt. Absolutely the worst shirt he's ever worn. Not even close. Absolutely hate this t-shirt. It's ugly. It, I, I could make something in five seconds on Photoshop, and it would look a lot better than this. So, I hate that. I love the blue armbands, not going to lie. I do like the blue armbands, and the hat was nice. I just hate the shirt. Shirt's, shirt's god-awful, but I'm sure that's what this figure will be with this brand-new JBL-style haircut and everything we got going on. Next up, guys, we do have an Elite Adam Cole, and I think this is Elite Series 71 Adam Cole, and I think we're going to get the North American American Championship with this, and hopefully we get the the yellow attire or the 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 gray and yellow attire. Either whether it be War Games, whether it be uh, just the gray and yellow. I just hope we get one of those gray attires. I really want the 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 camo, the camo from War Games. I really want that one for Adam Cole here. But I understand if we can't get that one, you know, it's it's understandable. But uh, I really want that one. I really want that one, and then I really want to see. Um, I really want to see the full Undisputed Era, guys. If that was, you know, what if they had like an Elite 2 pack or Elite 3 pack from Ringside or something featuring Roddy Strong, which we still don't have an Elite 4, still waiting on that NXT figure. We uh, we, we could get Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, and Roddy Strong all in the War Games get up to match our Elite 71, Elite 70 Adam Cole. I think it's Elite Ser Series 71. 
Adam Cole. How sick, nasty farticles would that be to see them all there in their War Games attires with the North American title, everything looking great. That would be beautiful. So that is something I really want to see. If we do get the, the War Games attire for this elite Adam Cole, I really, really do want the full... Uh, Undisputed Era with their with their War Games attire. Probably some of my favorite attires ever. Maybe they can include the Undisputed Cheras. You guys know I uploaded to Instagram. I had a, a steel chair. You know the steel chairs they broke out in that match with the Undisputed Era logo? Undisputed Chair. Put those with the with the Elite set. Bam! You got a beautiful little setup there. So that is uh, something I want to see with that one. The next figure that we have is Elite Johnny Gargano. And I think that it was, it was leaked that this figure is going to be the Black red and blue attire which i do like i like this attire a lot it's not his best attire by any means the iron man one is definitely the best but i understand we're probably not going to get that one due to copyright issues this one's more of a standard it's not you know blatantly copying something you can't really tell that it's marvel themed if it is marvel themed i think it's supposed to be uh some character i'm not exactly sure who but this johnny gargano looks great again i hope this thing has the ripped up torso because it really does need it. Johnny Gargano's ripped up. He deserves to have the ripped up torso. Maybe they'll give it to us. And hopefully they don't give us the short kick pads, guys. God, that, that's going to upset a ton of people. If they give us those short kick pads, including myself... Um, it's going to be very upsetting if they give him those. So hopefully they give him the ripped up torso. Hopefully they give him the Daniel Bryan kick pads. And uh, this thing looks nice. So there is that Johnny Gargano figure. I'm also very hyped for that one. We will see these all complete. I know these are going to be fully painted, ready to go. So uh, Johnny Gargano along with Adam Cole. The next figure that we have is EC3. EC3 was also shown at Axis in this little setup with Johnny Gargano and Adam Cole. This figure looks good. I really like the head scan. And I'm guessing... It's probably going to be his NXT attire. I, I really don't know if they'll do a main roster attire. I don't even know what attire he'd wear, guys. I Every time I see the man on camera, he's just looking like an idiot, and I don't even remember what he's wearing. So uh, just the way they treated EC3 has just been god-awful on the main roster. So I really don't know what to expect from this figure, but uh, hopefully it looks great. I mean, the figure, the prototype looks good. I like the way the prototype looks, and so hopefully they give him a really nice attire. I would like to see the yellow attire. I really like the yellow attire, but any of his other attires will work. I'm just kind of happy we're getting an EC3 just to have, um, you know, in the collection on the setup there. So EC3 looks good. Next up, guys, we do have a Big Show. And this Big Show does look solid. I do like the way it looks. it got an Attitude Era Big Show. I think this is going to be the Big Show that goes with our Hall of Champions Undertaker figure. I'm sure it'll come with the World Tag Team Championship. I think that is the look they're going for here. I really like the shirtless look. We haven't had a shirtless Big Show in a long time. So I really like this. I really like the head scan. Probably the best Big Show head scan that we've gotten thus far, especially with True Effects Tech technology, all that good jazz. This this Big Show will be, definitely be one of the better ones, and so this will be complete. It was in that same box with uh, Ad Access with all these guys, and the final figure in this little box setup that was right there at WrestleMania Access is Sarah Logan. This is a basic figure, but I'm sure we will see this finish off. I'm not a, you know, a Sarah Logan advocate or anything, but it is cool to see her here. It will be cool to have our Riot Squad all completed here with this Sarah Logan figure, and then the next figure, the next figure that I'm really excited about, guys is Jeff Hardy and this Jeff Hardy is mid middle 2000s you you know like uh, I think it's 07 or so Jeff Hardy here with his dreadlocks and he he looks good man I really cannot wait until what 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 attire we're getting that's the biggest thing you know when we get these re-releases of characters like this Adam Cole John Cena uh, you know Johnny Gargano it's more of you know we've had figures of them in the past but we want to see what attire they're wearing right so this is one of those ones that I'm very excited to see what it looks like you know what we're getting with it if there's going to be any cool accessories and stuff like that. Honestly, if they give us one from 07 or whatever it is, I would really like to see the World Tag Team Championships, and um, it would be really cool to see like the ripped up sleeves look, or uh, since he's got the dreadlocks, I think that's what it will be. It'll be like the little ripped sleeves and everything. Hopefully, we get a really cool attire out of it, and we can do some part switches and fix-ups. That's the best part, man. Like When I see brand new figures, the first thing that pops in my, my mind is, how can I fix this up? How can I change parts and make other sick fix-ups and customs? So That's what's going through my head with this one. Really excited for that. The next thing that we do have, guys, is the Ghostbusters Elite figure set. Now, this is very interesting, and honestly, I have mixed feelings about it. I am not very excited about the figures. The figures look kind of, they're just weird. Like, they make no sense. Like, I, on, one thing I'm very excited about with this set is, I don't know why, but I really like the way the Undertaker is. That translucent purple looks really cool, and maybe I can, like, do some effects. Like, if he ever turns up in MDT or something, I don't know. That's the first thing that pops in my head is using this figure for a cool entrance or something, and then, like, he's purple and then he fades to normal undertaker i don't know just something that's popping in my head but the Shawn michaels figure i really do like those pants on that Shawn michaels that Shawn michaels looks freaking sexy with the uh, the gray slash whitish 
pants with the black details on there. Add some red paint or something, man. We can make like a sick Shawn Michaels fix up or something like that. Switch the head scan. That's just one running through my mind here. But uh, the rest of the figures, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why are we getting this? I don't. I like. I, I don't see the tie between Ghostbusters and WWE. It just doesn't make sense to me in that aspect. I mean. It's it's interesting. I, I do like that it's elites instead of basics because if these were basics, they would just rot on the pegs just like uh, the mutants, just like the zombies, just like the whatever the hell else we've gotten. Um, I, I really don't see the point in these, though. I really do like the accessories, though, man. Like, the cloth accessories and all of the different stuff going on is really cool. I'm not going to lie to you. The cloth accessories that we got going on with The Rock, with Stone Cold, Cena, and the Translucent Taker is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to you about that aspect. And they're elite figures, so I'm down for some new elite figures, even if they don't make sense. Um, I'm willing to give them a try because they are elites, and that's pretty cool there. So we do have the San Diego Comic... I, I don't know if these are Comic-Con exclusive or if these are going to be pushed out to retail. I'm not sure, but I'll probably try and uh, track down a set just for different you know, fix-ups and stuff of that nature. So we do have the Ghostbusters figures. And then the, I think this is the last one, not including Alicia Fox. There is an Alicia Fox figure that I didn't include in here like Sarah Logan probably should have, but it's just a regular Alicia Fox figure. And then we have a Don Morocco figure. He was a figure, uh, he was a wrestler for the WWF in the 1980s. I think it was like 81 through 88 or something. He was an Intercontinental Champion. We'll probably get an Intercontinental Championship with this Don Morocco figure. I'm, I, you know, I obviously wasn't alive for this and, um, He's not a name that I recognize with myself, so uh, I, I really don't have any interest in the figure, but it is cool to see. I like to see guys like this every now and then, you know, like we got with Bruno San Martino. It's been a long time since we had that San Martino figure, so I'm fine with a guy like this. I know that they were from different time frames or whatever, but this is still cool to see here with the Don Morocco figure. And then we have the final figure, and this is a figure that I really want to see. This is the only figure I'm going to show in this video that I really want to see, guys, and that is this mid-2000s Shawn Michaels. Please, God, give me a 2004, 2005, 2006 era Shawn Michaels right here. As you see it on the screen, I really do want to see this. Please just... We don't have an elite in this besides WrestleMania 25, I think, with the defining moments. And besides that, we have our DX Walgreens exclusive Shawn Michaels. But after that, guys, and, and basics. We've had plenty of basics. They look great. The basics look great. But I really want an elite with the pants. Stop making notification sounds on my computer. And I really want to see this. Jax made a ton of them, and they look so good. You guys can see there that red pants look so good there on the Elite. And I really do want to see this from Mattel. So that is one of the figures that I really want to see from Mattel at San Diego Comic-Con. But I think that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, what other figure? Am I missing any figures? Besides the Alicia Fox, am I missing any figures? I think uh, maybe we'll see the new Dolph Ziggler figure that was rumored. And it's supposed to be the Chase variant, actually. There's a Dolph Ziggler figure in Elise Series 70 or 71. I can't remember. That is supposed to be a Chase variant, and you guys know I'm going to mark out for that. Hopefully they show that off. There's also um, a Vince McMahon figure that's rumored that's an Elite that I'm also excited for. And then we have the, uh, there's some other things that I'm sure will be shown that I do not have listed here. And I'm excited for it, man. I cannot wait. There's always going to be big reveals, and uh, we'll probably make a video on figures that I hope to see. So we'll cover that in the next video, guys. But thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.